Now the potential for a SEPTA strike has many riders in the very least concerned. This is shaping up to be a long week of tense negotiating. For one, collateral damage of any walkout would be a return to remote learning for Philadelphia school children. Eyewitness News reporter Alicia Roberts live outside school district headquarters with what we know. Alicia. Hi, Joe. That's right. One week from tonight, as children are out trick-or-treating, parents may be frightened by the thought of a possible SEPTA stop. It's going to be really hard for me. That's going to... I don't have a car. Um, I don't know. I guess Uber? Philadelphia students and their families are watching and wondering what they'll do if SEPTA and more than 5,000 transit workers who operate our city's buses, trolleys, subway, and trains fail to reach an agreement by midnight October 31st. While both the school district and Federation of Teachers stand in support of the transport workers, with the teachers' union calling their work, quote, critically important, school district leaders are urging parents to check their students' laptops and internet access in the case of a return to remote learning. More than 60,000 Philadelphia students rely on SEPTA to get to class every day. I would just stop going to school, like, honestly, because everything's online because of COVID and everything like that, but I want to go to class. The city is also encouraging K through 12 families without internet service to call 211 to enroll in PHL Connect ED, a no cost program for students in need. And the school district has also set up an information web page for the latest updates on the potential of that SEPTA strike and its impact on the classroom. We've posted a link on our website, cbsphilly.com. Reporting live outside school district headquarters, Alicia Roberts, CBS 3 Eyewitness News. Alicia Roberts following the latest for us there in these marathon negotiations set to start. Stay with CBS 3 Eyewitness News for continuing coverage of the looming possibility of a SEPTA strike when we're not here on air. You can get updates at cbsphilly.com.